Hello, my name's Claire Bez from Spectrum Noir. Today I'm going to show you how I made this beautiful watercolour card. You can see it. Here you go. Today I'm going to be using Spectrum Noir and we're using the landscape colours. They're professional liquid watercolours and they come in little pots like this. In each pot you have 50 millilitres and in each set you have six different colours. These are the six colours from the landscape and they come in a box with pipettes to put into your little tray. For today's tutorial we're going to be using just five of the colours, so we're going to be using 22, 3, 8, 33 and 42. So what we need to do is, let's move this card out of the way, we need to really wet our cardstock. This is um, Crafter's Companion watercolour card um, that I'm using. It's 300 GSM and it's lovely and thick to work with. So now we've wet it, we're going to pick up just a little bit of the blue. You can see how dark it is, if I show you there. This is just the concentrated blue. Um, which is number three. Where we've put the water down though, you can see you're getting a wash. And because we're not actually adding any other colour, any other water or any more than that onto the card, you can see the graduated tone. There we go. So that basically is the background. But on this one you can see we've got clouds. So, how I did the clouds was, you get a little bit of kitchen roll and scrunch it up and literally just roll it across the paper. What this does is it removes, let's have a look. there we go. As you can see there, it removes some of the colour to leave you with the sky. What we need to do now is dry it. So instead of drying it, here's one I did earlier. Okay, and we're going to next put the flowers on. These bits here. Okay. Now for this, I'm not going to put it onto the card with the uh, onto the mat. Sorry with the masking tape. I'm going to do it freehand. This is because, as you can see, once you take the masking tape off, you're left with the white surround. Now, I don't want the white surround all the way. I want the, the flowers to come from the bottom. You can see from this one. I just like that effect. So what we're going to do now is... The green is, is a very, very bright green but I want to dull it down a little bit so I'm going to add a little bit of water and then a little bit so it's number 22 and I'm just adding just a little bit of 33 in there we go This will give a nice brown kind of effect. And as I say, I want the reeds or the flowers to be coming up from here. So literally, with stroking effects, as if you were colouring grass with your pens, just flick. There we go. 
And because the paints are liquid, it's very easy to get different tones. So that's quite a, a yellowy green. So let's try and add in. This is just with a bit more of the actual green itself, but not so much brown in it. Okay, so next we want to add, I don't know if you can see, there's a little bit of brown, even browner green, um, which I've used by adding the number 42 to the green, to the number 22, sorry. There we go. A little bit of that added to that one. There we go. Now you could use your, um, pop that a little bit up, it doesn't matter. You could use your heat gun at this stage um, just to dry these bits off. But as you see, I quite like the effect of the wet in wet coming through. So next we need to leave that to dry. Okay, so I've now dried your card and this bit section here. And I don't know if you can see, you've got nice lots of different colour greens going on here. What we're going to do now is we're going to add these flowers. And for that, we're going to use number eight, which looks like it's called look like an Air Force blue colour. So let's pick a little bit up and I'll show you what we did next. It's a very very strong colour this one. So what I did was I added it down the side. That's why you want some of them sticking up at different angles but you also want to pull it out a bit more at the bottom. Okay, there we go. Okay, so now I've dried those. And to make it more look uh, more gradiented, what I want to do next is now go over it and just add a little drop of water and pull it out from the other side. It's a good idea to have a bit of tissue in your hand at this point. Um, Let's try and see if we can, there we go. Okay, as you can see, the colour is actually being pulled out. So it's leaving it darker on this side and a more subtle effect on this. Let's do the last couple. And because you've gone over a little bit of the grain, that kind of mixes in a bit as well and gives it this really nice effect. What you can do now is if you feel that the sides, you know, the sides here are a little bit too light, you can always go back in with just a little bit where it's touches the, the wet from where you've just wet it I'm putting sorry I'm putting a little bit more shading I always think the shading looks really nice when you do wet and wet very subtle there we go and that is basically your card done all I've done with this one is drawn around with a fine liner pen, put in a couple of little birds, you see those? And stamped on your birthday at the top and then matted it onto some black card all the way around. And that's card done. Thank you for watching today and don't forget to 
go to www.spectrumnoir.com where you can see lots more videos and tutorials from the rest of the DT.